Welcome to JH586. I'm Jamie. But I wanted to show off the Taco Mauser. I know this is old hat for some of you guys that have been watching our live chats, but I just wanted to show it off. We got uh, we've got six coats of hand rubbed boiled linseed oil. I'm especially proud of this part right here. We've got the we've got the strap on there now, and uh, a lot of guys wanted to see the bottom. And it's as smooth as a baby's rear end. We got the numbers on that end. And like I said, it's not perfect. But I'm going to uh, put some pictures in of the before. But... Um, I really like the way it turned out. It's smooth grip on it. We did some touch up blue and there's the there's the crest. One thing I wanted to point it out to y'all if I could, if we can get it on camera, is that word right there and that forty four. So I'm assuming that means made in nineteen forty four. This is a Yugoslavian M forty eight Mauser. And it just, of course, you got the three position safety. That's safety, and then all the way over there is locked. You can't even cycle the bolt, but with it straight up, you can still cycle the bolt. You got the elevator sights. I wanted to keep it uh, as military and as uh, looking like a mill sarp as much as we could and still have a really nice finish on it you see it's got some gloss but not too much so i'm really proud of it i want to say thanks to mr taco again for his giveaway and i'm just so blessed to have won it but since we've uh picked this up i've bought some extra front sight hood for it i'm gonna be putting that on there after we take it to the range and get it sighted in we, this is ppu factory ammunition 196 grain soft point so we could use that in the deer woods if we had to but i've already tried those stripper clips and they fit in there and slide down in there just perfect um i have an extra front sight blade if we need it we got a cleaning kit we ordered the cleaning kit i guess i need to open this up and show y'all what's inside here comes in an old canvas type bag we have the the rope we have the oil bottle and the uh, bore guard and the cleaning brush so oh, I did get the cleaning rod but the cleaning rod does not fit down in the hole so I'm gonna see if numerich will swap this out for a smaller diameter one but uh, this may work in my other, my older one. Bayonet. I bought this frog to go on the bayonet. And uh, I've had this for quite a while. I bought it for the other one. But um, remember that word I wanted you to see? There it is again, right there with 44. So this bayonet was made the same year that the rifle was made. I think I've got most everything anyway if y'all can think of something else i need to make the kit complete let me know we'll get on uh, get on the interwebs if what we can find telling you what okay let's talk about this process now when when we first got the rifle it was in good shape it really was but the stock had never been sanded down and finished it was still in the road well you gotta also get the get the cosmoline out i used a uh, as much of it as you can you can clean on that cosmoline forever what I used was a heat gun I got from Harbor Freight for like nine dollars. It worked real well. We started with 120 grit, worked up to 220. 
then we've got the 320 and I have this as like an emery cloth and it's very flexible. So it worked really well to get in all of the, to, you know, to get around the corners and stuff like that. This was very handy. I just happened to have some of that. Finished it off with 400 grip. To get around the curves and up in the corners, you gotta find something to get up in there. Uh, maybe a dowel or whatever. But when you get to the 400 grip, after you start your sanding, you get down to the 400 grit, you got it as smooth as you want it. The trick is not to wipe off the, the sawdust. And then you take boiled linseed oil and just uh, take the top off, dab it a drop at a time on your finger and you have to rub it in real, uh, you get that heat, get that body heat going. I'm not kidding guys, I, I probably didn't use a tablespoon on that rifle maybe maybe two tablespoons but I doubt it just a drop at a time rubbing it in once you get the oil on the stock you gotta let it completely dry then you take quadruple lock steel wool rub it in there just buff it out buff it out and after you've done it the first time it gets looking kind of like that and you get that oil in there, that's even better. Because once that oil gets built up in that steel wool, it just buffs it that much better and just makes it, well, you saw what it does. It does, just works real well. Eagle Eye sent me this mold. Uh, so we're going to be casting bullets for it. It's uh, Lyman uh, 323470. It's a single cavity, 165 grain tumble lube design. So we're anxious to get get casting with that. Last week, got a Christmas card from Josh at 243 Outdoors. I want to thank him again for being on our Friday night chat last week. It was a pleasure to have him and uh, big time fun. So a couple of days after I got the card from Josh, I got this one uh, in the mail also. That's from uh, Cranky Cletus. God bless you, Cranky. Thank you so much. Uh, Cranky and I will be working on 3030 after first of This year. past Friday, I had a package in my mailbox. And I opened it up and it was not signed. So I don't really know who to thank. I think I know who to thank. But I got this comb rising kit, 2.0. And this was from Midway. To whoever sent this. I think I know who it is. If y'all read the comments on my videos, you probably got a pretty good idea too. But uh, I want to say thanks a bunch. And uh, as soon as we're done with our preliminary testing on uh, 35 Remington, those lift, those high-rise see-through sights are going to come off. And I may even put a different scope on it. But uh, there's a couple individuals that I think having a scope on a lever gun period is aggravating them to death to be honest with you but and I understand that and uh, I'm working on data right now for Shooters World Tactical Rifle but I have been in touch with the folks at Shooters World they're real real good to get back in touch with you and talk with you um, so guys Merry Christmas Dang, it's been a good one already for me. Guys, God bless you. Merry Christmas, and remember the reason for the season. It's not about presents, but it's about the birth of our, our Savior, our King. And uh, let's take a minute and remember that. Guys, God bless you. See you soon. Good night.